This is the guide to the Minutes homepage. In this video, you will learn about the different resources found on the Minutes homepage and how they can help you in your role at your organization. If you are a new Minutes user, we recommend that you watch the other videos on using Minutes located on our Minnesota Healthcare Program or MHCP Provider Training page. We will start on the Minutes login screen and enter our username and password to log into our account. Now that we have logged into our Minutes account, let's review the different sections of the home screen. The Minutes home logo is located at the center top of every screen. When working in Minutes, we can click on this image at any time to return to the home page. At the top left of the screen is our username and the logout button. Underneath our username is a panel containing several links. The first item is a link to open our mailbox. This is where we receive information and announcements for our provider type, such as remittance advices, authorizations, service authorization letters, and other files. For information on how to access the Minutes Mailbox, please refer to the Using the Minutes Mailbox video, which is found on the MHCP Provider Training page. Under Mailbox is a header titled Minutes. Under this header is a list of links. We would use the Eligibility Request link to look up subscriber eligibility coverage and receive an eligibility response. Some services covered under MHCP require prior authorization. We can create and submit a request for authorization using the authorization request link. The Submit Transactions link allows us to submit and view the history for an X12 production batch, an X12 test batch, and other items, such as affiliation data and supplemental payment transactions. Submit DDE Claims is where we begin the submission process when billing MHCP. The Request Claim Status link opens the new Minutes Request Claim Status Response page. This allows us to check the status, copy, replace, and void all claims submitted through Minutes. We may have additional links below the Minutes header, such as the Minnesota Provider Screening and Enrollment Portal. These links are dependent on our provider type, services we provide, or access status. The remaining links at the bottom of the left navigation panel are User Administration, User Guides, and Last Check. Clicking the User Administration link will open a screen displaying two tabs. The first tab is titled Search User and is used to modify an existing user account. The second tab is titled Create User and it displays the NPI or UMPI number for our organization. If we are the primary administrator for our organization, we can create specific user roles, allow user access to interactive functions, mailbox folders, and reset passwords in this area. We can also use this tab to add links to applications, forms, or lists to the left navigation panel. The link for User Guides will open the MHCP Minutes User Manual homepage. This manual provides step-by-step -step instructions to help providers and billers use the features in Minutes. The Last Check link gives authorization to access warrant information, which we may or may not have access to, depending on our user role. If we need access to various features in Minutes, we contact our primary administrator to have them added to our account. If we do not know who our primary administrator is, we can contact the MHCP Provider Call Center. The center section of the Minutes screen contains important application information and announcements. Next, we will review the Right Navigation panel. This area contains a list of links that are helpful when using Minutes, and each will open in a separate window when selected. 
The links are organized under three different headers, related pages, related links, and questions or comments. The link under questions or comments is for the Provider Call Center, so we can easily locate it whenever we need assistance. The first link under Related Pages opens a troubleshooting guide from the Minutes User Manual organized in the format of an FAQ, or Frequently Asked Questions. This FAQ explains errors and other issues that we may encounter when using Minutes. The MHCP Payment and Claim Cutoff Calendar link opens the MHCP Billing Resources page. This page contains important billing information. The MHCP Fee Schedule link contains current payment rates for procedure codes that are used when billing MHCP and specifies when an authorization or service agreement is needed. When we first click on this link, we open the CDT license page. We must accept the terms before continuing on to the MHCP fee schedule. The next link is titled X12 NCPDP Submitters. This link opens the 5010-D.0 compliance page on the DHS public website. We would use these resources when submitting MHCP claims for 5010X12 and National Council for Prescription Drug Programs D.0 transactions. Provider Updates page includes news and resources for enrolled MHCP providers. Provider website opens the Minnesota Healthcare Programs Providers Policies and Procedures page. The link titled Sign Up for Email List opens a page where we can sign up to receive email notifications on topics of our choosing. The last link in this section is titled Test Region. X12 slash NCPDP batch submitters must submit their 5010 transactions through the test region for syntax acknowledgement before MHCP allows submission of these transactions in production. Refer to the directions listed on this page for current batch submitters and new batch submitters. The next section is titled Related Links and contains links for the X12 external code list and the NDC search. The X12 external code list contains the HIPAA compliant codes used when validating direct data claims in minutes. The NDC directory contains information on active and certified drugs and is updated daily. Providers use the FDA's National Drug Code or NDC to enter the three segment number for drugs when submitting a claim. The Minutes homepage is a convenient place to locate all of the resources you might need when performing a variety of tasks. The Department of Human Services offers various training opportunities, including other on-demand videos and online sessions. You can register for the online sessions by visiting the MHCP Enrolled Provider Training page on the DHS Provider website. Check the MHCP Provider News and Updates for announcements on changes to programs and information about new learning tutorials when they become available. Thank you.